All right, virtual sunrise. What's this? So right now we're looking at just Gola Buzz, which is a tracker software that I started on in 1999, 98. It was the first piece of software to take uh, plugins as a external piece of software that were called machines uh, and just call the buzz um, yeah a nodal view so the first software I ever used was kind of nodal this is the mixer this is the volume control the pan pot but the whole thing is built around this kind of nodal architecture and no piano roll by default there's just a uh, tracker software uh, type input so, Virtual Sunrise comes out of Just Gola Buzz uh, as a kind of sketch loop uh, instrumental and then we exported multitracks via uh, as a cyan phase multitrack organizer um, into Nuendo as stems and then there's more work done on it. So this is kind of the initial sketch for Virtual Sunrise without vocals just as a kind of pastoral lullaby type thing I didn't label any of the tracks um, it's a little confusing now maybe some VSTs in here Zero G Nostalgia which we saw throughout the record synth one so it's the same sort of uh, same sort of set of um, plugins, but this was written, well, there's a missing plugin there, uh, written at the same time uh, as the sort of Visions era stuff, um, and then exported into Nuendo and overdubbed uh, and sort of reworked. Um, but yeah, so the next session we'll open up is just web recordings of all of these various tracks. I can't open the drum track, half the plugins are missing. This is kind of a bit of a, um, ancient ruin of software and part of the reason why we couldn't do visions for the archive project and decided to do charisma because the stuff just won't open up or occasionally if there's like a missing plugin it'll just give us white noise bursts and stuff so it's a real riot of fun uh, trying to open these old projects um what else can we say about it um yeah it's compositionally the same sort of dealio as a lot of the dr stuff we'll hear a um here is the lead that I can mute. Um, we have a section for the vocals here, and then this kind of uh, instrumental break. And this, uh, where are these sound effects? There's all kinds of sound effects and sort of uh, clicky, clicky noises and stuff. Uh, but yeah, trying to find out where things are coming from on this one is a little bit complicated. Um, just looking for this, I maybe mean, it's the ZX7, yeah. So we've got a kind of uh, clave sound from this uh, Z4 ZX7. Oh, here we go. Is it going to crash? No. Okay, so it won't open the custom GUI. So yeah, this is what... Uh, we were dealing with back in the day but uh so it's charisma is basically written all on steinberg nuendo but this one comes from some uh multi-tracks that were generated by discola buzz and i can't reconstruct it because the binaries and everything else the dependencies are all weird um we tried and it's rough so luckily this tune is built from this bmx file which is the discola buzz um discola buzz sequence format and export it into window as multi-track so we'll switch over to new window now and we will open up virtual sunrise it's just uh all right here we go on Virtual Sunrise. Uh, I'll just reconnect the main vocoder carrier wherever that is because all of the assignments get sort of messed up um, for some reason every time you open the project. Uh, we're looking for vocals main 
Is there a carrier for that? Is there a vocoder at all? Yes, DC vocoder. Okay. We are getting there. All right. Still reconnecting the vocoders. Okay, so formerly a similar prescription that we've run on Charisma with a kind of vocal um, vocal lines and then a little instrumental break exemplifying some electronic sounds in this case it's kind of choir sounds um and subject matter is kind of a pastoral uh sort of vignette on a virtual reality type scene uh another tune that's influenced by computer graphics and this kind of visual dimension of the way i sort of perceive music as a you know visual narrative or a visual setting um, I've been tracing rays of light and it's going to take all night. Like, uh, the idea that you leave a computer on to ray trace a image. In this case, I would have been looking at Pov Ray, but you know, you look at Blender, 3ds Max, Cinema 4D, the idea that you have this image that's emerging over overnight. Um, but there's one thing I can say, there's a virtual sunrise on the way. It's about kind of crafting one's own world in your head slash in your computer uh you know on ram in the mind's eye wherever it goes uh and just a reflection pun intended on this kind of um sense of a sort of the mind's eye second pun intended so quite sort of nasal uh vocal sound And these are all stacked and sort of detuned. It's the kind of the voice of the machine coming at you. In this long sustained choir. The idea that you're, you're sort of hanging on these notes just as a tone cluster. It's a bit of a departure from the rest of the sort of complicated arrangements in the album. another sound effects layer this kind of uh this idea that there's these uh like ui you uh what's the word user interface yes <laughs> my brain's going too quickly the idea that there's a sort of user interface um sound a notification sound we would call it now that it would that it's like the, the machine talking back as the voice of the, the singer is describing this kind of virtual world and the machine's going, yes, that's correct. Like there's this thing, there's this thing that I'm uh, manifesting. No job, no sleep, no cold, no heat, no rain. Uh, just another reflection on labor. <laughs> uh, working, the idea of working. A little bit of a theme across albums. Underneath a fractal sky. And then 
has that kind of same TV ending, the kind of uh, TV coda. It sounds like a credit reel. Yeah, for, for me, the song sort of reintroduces the album in a uh, just a sort of informational sense. It's a bit more chill and it's kind of like coming back a kind of hero's return type thing before the album winds up. It's a sort of point of a point of rest in a way. And it's got these cute little church bells. I wonder if they're still connected. Just going for this kind of trope, um, this kind of idea of a union, uh, the idea of a kind of unification, unification with a virtual entity. And I'm pretty sure we fade out underneath all this stuff. This is a bit of a manipulated um, part of the multi-tracks. It sounds a bit kind of like pull stretch. Or this kind of uh, slow time cadence. quite a simple song uh, influenced a lot by um, thinking about uh, the themes evident in John Fox's Metamatic this idea of a kind of depersonalized uh, human um, the human and the technology the kind of uh, this kind of Ballardian crystal world uh, uh, alienation but in a kind of nice way in a sort of uh, in a in uh, a sort of reverent scene rather than necessarily a uh, sort of being tortured by the machine you're sort of liberated by it um, but these kind of science fiction ideas um, from 80s synth pop and it sort of sounds a little bit like a lullaby in a way um, and uh, the, the one goof is that the kick drum's very woolly in this if you hear it on the drum channel it's got a very high tone and it's got the uh, UI shock maximizer on it. Uh, let's see where. Let's look how bad this is. Yeah, this kind of peak at around 80 hertz. It's like a high kick drum with not much sort of sweep or anything like that. So it's a bit, it's a bit kind of punchy. Um, so yeah, as I described earlier, the multi tracks are from Just Gola Buzz. And they were not were not aimed uh, named correctly. Uh, bass is just bass, but it is that ARP twenty six hundred patch from Nostalgia VST. Um, sound effects layers from various sources. Uh, this was composed quite because it's a mishmash of all these different elements. Um, it was it is sort of set up quite messily. Um, I would have at least named the stems these days, but. Background, background sound effects. As always, a whole nother piece of um, of sound effects, like a whole different kind of avant-garde soundscape underneath. I had a habit of, uh, if a track didn't fit, I would just turn it down instead of taking it out just add to the milieu of sound try to get some emergent properties there's like this weird FM bell sound that you can barely hear in the mix or as a sample or something like that And 
and in terms of that kick drum, there's like a very nice, um, oh, it's the bass line, very nice double kick that I quite like that pushes the. Kind of a bit of a of a Latin samba merengue type like, but yeah. The, the perfect complement to the rain that's currently coming down in Kowloon with the thunder. <laughs> Hopefully it's not being picked up on the uh, the mic here, but yeah, virtual sunrise. <laughs> 